Hey everyone, so I'm going to do an updated um, hair extensions video on how I clip them in and how I style my hair with the hair extensions in. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on my Babyless flat iron, and I always put it to 401 Fahrenheit and you can get this at flatironexperts.com. I'll put a link down below. And my hair extensions are the Raquel Welch hair extensions. So now I only use three big wefts. So they're like, this is like one weft. And I use three sizes about that big. So yeah, so I'm just gonna wait for my flat iron to heat up and then sort my extensions and then I use this comb which kind of has a lot of hair in it um, to tease my hair and I use the same comb to kind of just smooth out my hair comb it out and now since I don't really wash my hair um, like every single day I only wash my hair about three times a week so the last time I washed my hair I think was about two days ago so there's still some of a tease left in my hair and it's easier for me to style. So now that my flat iron is really really hot, I already sprayed my hair with um, heat protection. I used the Chi 44 Iron Guard. I'm just going to go through my hair and kind of just straighten it out because as you can see I have some of a wave in it. So I'll just go through my hair and this is what I do with my hair every single morning unless if I'm doing the uh, big like Kim Kardashian inspired waves I just straighten it with a flat iron so I kind of just go randomly through my hair like that and I'll switch to the other side and do the same thing As you can see, I don't like to be too perfect when I straighten my hair, especially if I'm adding hair extensions, because I usually just run through my hair extensions um, and my hair with this flat iron, so just like that, and I leave my bangs usually because sometimes flat irons kind of mess up my bangs and I don't like that. So. Now I have like a sectioning clip. You can use one like this or one like this. And I usually go right from the tip of my ear and go all the way back like so. And then I will just clip my hair up and now take a couple of thin layers and you're going to tease or back comb your hair just very slightly so you can create a nice little knot that'll help secure your flat iron or not your flat iron your clip and hair extensions and a link to the clip and hair extensions will also be down below where you can get those and now you can go ahead and take your clip-in hair extensions and try to apply them into the knot so that way it's secure the whole day without you having to worry about it falling out or if you're going dancing at night or you just want it to last the whole day. So you just readjust them and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to just do the same. Now from up here, I like to go from the arch of my eyebrows almost and go all the way around. This is my next section. I only have two sections in my hair because um, it blends in pretty well. I just dropped a piece of hair on the ground. Nasty. Anyways, so you're gonna go back in, 
create a couple knots. Like so. All the way around. That. And then within the knots, we're just going to place them in there. Like so. My cats are acting really weird, that's why. I'm like distracted looking that way. One of them was just stuck in my wardrobe. I guess he went in after I closed the door and then he pushed it open and dropped a bunch of clothes on the floor. Which kind of sucks, but I have to deal with that after. So yeah, so um, as you can see it looks something like that. And I don't really like to be too even. As you can see this side is a little bit higher than this side, but it's okay. Um, but this side I want to just clip in a little bit further in to the knot. Just shift it over. If you want to just play around, you want to make sure it's nice and secure so during the day it doesn't fall out because that would be very embarrassing. Um, but yeah, and then just feel around, make sure everything is okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and run my real hair with my hair extensions. Like that. And you also want to get the back too. But for the most part it blends in. I only like to use a couple of hair extensions. And then... Um, that way I don't get the headaches or I don't get um, too much hair that gets pulled out from the weight of the hair extensions. So now starting in the crown of my head, I'm just going to start to back comb like this. Again. Back comb, keep grabbing a couple of sections. I usually take four sections in my back comb. This will help your hair extensions to kind of blend in. So just like that. And then you can kind of comb it back, but I'm gonna finish teasing all around and then I'll adjust it to the highlight light. So just back comb. And you can use hairspray in between this process. I like to finish it off with a hairspray at the end. But I won't be able to show you guys the hairspray at the end because the hairspray I'm using is big sexy and that's my tripod at the moment. So I won't be able to show you but it's just a red bottle of big sexy regular hairspray or you can use any hairspray you want so you just want your hair to kind of look crazy at the moment but then we'll fix it kind of takes me like 10 minutes in the morning to do my hair like this I would say it doesn't take that long but obviously if you do not like taking too much time on your hair clip inst extensions might not be for you so you might want to look into getting um, fusion hair extensions which is basically it's attached to your hair a strand of your hair but that can be pretty pricey and you could go for maybe like a sew and weave. Well, I keep banging my door. Or you can go in for like a sew and weave. Um, that I know is cheaper. I've had that done. It was okay. Lasts about a month. 
Um, and then I just kind of make sure it's all okay. And then for my bangs, usually I just take the brush, curve it, and go like that to get a really nice shape for my bangs. And then that's my hair. So that's pretty much how I blend it in. Um, it kind of makes it look more like a, a layered cut, which is good. And then I just finish it off with hairspray all over. And yeah, so hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful. I know I got a lot of questions of um, how to clip in hair extensions or, you know, how to style it to make it look natural. So I hope it looks all right. To me, it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, and if you have any other tips and techniques, please comment below and um, yeah, I'll put like all the links in the bottom bar, follow me on Twitter, and thumbs up or thumbs down this video based on how you liked it. And bye everyone, have a great day.